While a leader can be a boss, not every boss is a leader. Coming up, I'll tell you seven differences between bosses and leaders. Hey guys, it's Jonas and in this video, like I said, we will explore bosses and leaders. Bosses are a bit more concerned with the outcomes. Leaders really pay attention to the people and the processes that the people have to do. But let's get to it. Number one, leaders lead rather than rule. Throughout the history, there has been a great leaders that have been in the front lines. Their teams are not afraid because their leader is right there with them. And it's true with this modern age as well. True leaders communicate openly and with their own example. They are walking the walk. Number two, leaders listen and talk rather than command. It's the bosses that give you orders and expect you to obey. Leaders listen. They ask questions and they create reciprocity. And the stronger the reciprocity is, more likely you are to follow your leader. Number three, leaders motivate instead of terrify. We all have had those projects that life is going up and down. It's like a roller coaster. And that's where bosses try to intimidate or terrify you with some sort of uh, outcome that you don't like. Leaders motivate by being part of it, by listening to you guys and then providing some help or tool that would make the whole thing better. Number four, leaders teach and learn instead of expect and ignore. Nobody is an expert in everything. That's why leaders listen and learn. Leaders have the self-esteem to be able to say that I don't know everything about everything. This is especially present in the social media age. The older generation leaders are open for the younger generation to come and teach them how to use social media. Number five, leaders take part instead of staying aside. A lot of the bosses, as cliche as it is, they stay behind closed doors. But when it comes time to collect the reward, you can bet your rumpy doodle that the bosses are first in line to take credit. Leaders choose to be part of the team instead of casting themselves aside. Number six, leaders reprimand instead of scold. When necessary, true leaders give constructive criticism. It's the bosses that shout and humiliate you. The true leaders know that it's no one's place to publicly humiliate others. Number seven, the last thing, true leaders establish equal relationships. I bet if you have been ever a part of a team that you have been in a situation where your manager picks up their favorites and they make it clear. True leader would never do that. They don't establish favorites, but they understand the diversity and the individuality and the importance of those two within a teamwork. They don't want to mess with the team dynamic by choosing favorites. The fact of the matter is, you will face both bosses and leaders. And when you become one yourself, you better choose the leader part. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel or like the video. And if I miss something, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.